Hey guys, before watching the video, I want to let you know that I started my own website called kidandroidrh.com. The link of the website will be in my description. I just want you people to go and visit my website and tell me how I can make it better and better. And please visit the website if you want to see the news related to the technologies and related to the mobiles, obviously. What's up, baby kid Android here? So, as you know, more recently, Huawei is heavily relying on Qualcomm chipsets instead of Karen. Well, this situation oriented after the US ban. And since then, Huawei can't print new chips via TSMC or similar chip production companies. But now, it seems Huawei is reshaping its supply chain and trying to bring new partners all together to resolve the current in-home chip issues. Therefore, a really surprising news have appeared online which might make your day. See ya! A Vivo tipster recently unveiled that Huawei is basically preparing for the first mass production of a 12nm and 14nm chipsets. Yes, you heard it right though. It seems the time finally came. Anyway, if you don't know, 12nm and 14nm chipsets are non-advanced processors. TSMC, Huawei's old supplier, has already moved on towards 4nm and even 3nm processors technology. But regardless, these chipsets might still be viable for other devices like smart wearables products or possibly even IoT-based gadgets. As per the tipster, certain chip models are already in use internally ahead of the commercial release. The tipster further added that Huawei will be releasing these chipsets under its own brand name. And guys, one thing I will surely say is that Huawei isn't new to the semiconductor market since its high silicon subsidiary has made advanced chipsets that rivaled Qualcomm and MediaTek for years in mobile devices market. Even still, the last flagship chipset from Karen is much powerful than its rivals. So technically, Huawei knows very well about making chipsets and if it's taking start from non-advanced chipsets like 12 and 14 nm, I would say that will be more efficient. It would even help the brand establish its revived semiconductor presence in the industry. However, this does not mean that the company has no plans to eventually move on to the advanced processors. Reportedly, the company will not be releasing such chips till the very end of 2023 and maybe right after that, you will be see a chipset from Huawei that will be comparable to advanced Qualcomm chipsets again with the 5G on. See ya, what do you think about this amazing news? Well, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>